All right, this is Warren John Line, and I'm saying goodbye to my Xbox 360, even though I said goodbye in 2004, and right now it's 2016. Uh, I had slowed down playing for a while. Uh, most of my friends, you know, actually went on to their, uh, went on to either, well, some of my friends actually still have Xbox 360, while the majority, uh, the majority uh, actually went to uh, Xbox One or PS4 or Wii U, which uh, most people who had the PS4 actually got both. So uh, with that said, I actually chose the wrong profile. So I'm going to sign out. Go ahead and do that right there. And mine. Not even sure how I did that, but okay. All right, and this video is just going to be showing games that I will no longer be playing. Uh, I have backed them up to go to the cloud on some of them. Uh, these are just XBLA games because uh, uh, Microsoft, for some reason, wants to lock uh, the games in for good reason. But I feel it was more of a headache for uh, people like myself who uh, I don't attain games illegally. I, I don't care for that. I do have associates that talk about that on forums and so forth. Um, and some of them are not even associates. Uh, when I used to be on MajorNelson.com, I talked to a person over in some other country. And it was not India. It was not Iraq. But, you know, we're talking about uh, pirating games, disc games more. And uh, he was like, well, Warren, how are we supposed to play our games? And I was like, go to the store and buy it. Because well, we don't have stores here in our country. And there was some really odd uh, odd place. You can actually go to MajorNelson.com and look up my name, Warren John Line, and you can probably Google Warren John Line, Major Nelson, pirating games, or something. I think we use another term. But basically, this person, I want to say young, but I shouldn't say that, but they were, not, they were nice. They were not using any vile language, which is why I kept talking to them. And they're like, well, there are no stores here where I'm at. I said, but you can pay for your games on Xbox Live. No, Warren, there is no Xbox Live here either. And I'm like, well, how do you play games? I already told you. We have to go download our games, and people bring them back, and we play them like that. And I was like... And as we talked, I was like, did you even, did you have you, I mean, I don't want to sound, you know, odd, but I am weird, but did you try to contact Microsoft about that? And uh, I, I don't know. I think that's where the conversation actually ended. But we talked for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. But I felt really bad because I, I could not imagine not going somewhere and uh, not being able to, like, Walk to a Video King or Video Plus. Now, this is in the 80s and 90s. These are where I used to rent games from. You know, Video King was across the road, and that's where I, I actually sold my last old Nintendo game, which was Super Mario Brothers 3, before I got my Super Nintendo. I just could not imagine that store not being there. It's not there now anyway, because once I moved away, every gaming store in the area mysteriously closed down two years later. Um, but I just couldn't, I could not imagine that because this is part of my life even though i tried to give it up at one time but as you can see i came back but uh all right that's enough of that let's go ahead and move into the games that i will not be playing anymore uh the reason why i'm making this video is because i made another private video uh just i was being kind of facetious i guess i don't know that's probably not the word i was just showing my friends who why aren't you playing this game why aren't you playing this game and so i said i'm here's a video of games that i'm not playing and basically it's games that i own that I'm not playing, um, that I just uploaded, and people saw it, and then go like, oh, I didn't know they had that game on PS3. I'm buying it, and they buy it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this. And I've been, been meaning to do this in a, lo a long time, and you can actually see some of this across some of my videos of XBLA games, uh, like, uh, what's that one? Uh, Fury. Uh, the Fury game. Was it, was it Kung Fu Fury? Uh, well, we'll get to it, but that game is, I loved it, it was cheesy, but I loved the animation. They did a great job, and I really wish it, that game got more attention than it, um, 
than what it showed here. And they actually came out, I think they're on Xbox One actually now. So I'm kind of happy that game did not die with Xbox 360 because I can tell even though they're an indie and that's their first game, they really put some hard work into that game. Um, nice, nice original music. And I think also in the background they had a picture of a TLC, or Left Eye actually. Uh, I'm not mistaken, so that was some homage. I was like, oh, wow. You know, but all right, games I will not be playing. It's going to be Aegis Wing. That's a great game. Alien Hominid. I am going to be playing that because I have that game on uh, GameCube and other other systems. Um, but it's hard on uh, Newgrounds.com. If you don't have this game on Xbox 360, I don't think it's on PS3 or on PS4, but it's on um, Newgrounds.com. And that's the original game, and it is really hard. So if you want a challenge, this is a game that you really should try to play. Uh, and I say try, but most I know some guys who can play it, and I'm like, oh, I can't. I, I beat the game once, and I was happy, <laughs> which is very rare. I usually beat the game at least twice. But uh, there's also a two-player game called Assault Heroes. Um, also, uh, notice that I don't have any photos on these games because uh, basically Microsoft did that transfer thing. Um, it's a full jo a controller, which means because I got tired of people bothering me uh, but I download the game so I can play offline because I don't really care for the scoreboards I don't that I, I don't I play games that have fun but uh Assault Heroes is a great little game uh, you can google all these games uh, if you want uh, well not Google YouTube YouTube or Google Google them and there's some games that I don't play I'm just gonna skip over like Avatar Boogie I have no idea what that game was about I don't really want to, you know I'm not gonna be showing the games themselves uh, Boom Boom Rocket, love that game. I probably won't be playing it again because I'm, I've, got, I've gotten old, I'm going to say that. Because uh, I used to be really great at the game, you know, showing my friends and, you know, some of them were older and they couldn't keep up with it. And I'm like, oh, you just press the button, go. And now some of the games I used to get, you know, play on a harder setting, I can't even beat. You know, I put it on a slower setting. Uh, the Burnout Paradise demo, I actually have the full game. Uh, but the demo is there because it's fun to play. The demo is fun to play. It's awesome. I mean, that's how I got, like, three friends that buy the game. I'm like, download the demo and let's play it one time, and you'll see. And then they went and got their friends, and that was pretty fun. Um, Xbox Live version. I also have it on PS3, but you know how Sony is with communication. You got to press this button, press this button, look for this person. It's like Microsoft. Oh, I see Tony's playing. Bloop, bloop. Hey, Tony, want to play some Burnout Paradise? Sure. Okay, invite me. Bloop, done. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you. Oh, now, this is Xbox Live on Xbox 360. I have not played any live on Xbox One. I've seen enough to know that it's not the same. But it plays similar. Similar. So, with that said, there's Carcassonne for all my board game playing friends. It's a great little game. Um, I didn't think I'd like it. I'm trying to think who... Two of my friends liked it, and they got me to buy it. And uh, once I understood it, this is a game for us to sit and just relax and talk and just have a good time while we're, while we're playing. You know, and just talk about small stuff. Casual Crashers. You already saw me play that. I think it's on my channel already. But this is a great game. Uh, Tom Fope, again, from Alien Hominid. Also, what I love about Tom Fope, he thinks ahead. That's what I love about him. Because what he did was, I always wondered why when we played RPG games like Dragon Warrior or even Zelda, when we went to the next Zelda, why do we have to keep finding the Master Sword and stuff? Why don't we just keep our stuff that we already have and then make the game harder? But people who didn't play the game and they're playing from the beginning, then yeah, they need to go find the Master Sword and stuff. But my thing with Castle Crashers is, is if you purchased Alien Hominid, Alien Hominid was a hidden character inside Castle Crashers. So when people saw that when I was playing, like, where did you get that from? I said, oh, I have Alien Hominid. That's a secret. I'm like, oh, and he is my favorite, even though I like the ice guy, the blue guy. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's awesome. You know, I said I wasn't gonna show any of these games. I don't really want to press the button because I, I want this. I want this video to be less than ten minutes. It's already nine minutes. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and press the button on Castle Crashers because I actually love this game. 
It is fun. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do every game. I'm just going to do some games. Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. I'm just going to show you the Alien Hominid. Because uh, you can look on YouTube and see him. I would think somebody would have recorded it by now. Uh, which is why I slowed down. Come folk. He's a man. Love his work. I love the artwork too. I love this artwork. My art teacher told me not to draw like that. This is way back in the 90s. Okay, it's a local game. Woo! And we're gonna go. I'm not gonna all you quaff and quaff. That is really something else. I'm gonna be. go in and I'm just loading this one game I'm gonna back out as soon as it's uh, finished loading okay, and see alien hominid he's, he's like level 45 versus level 1 7 23 I love the ice I love ice because it helps me freeze and my other guy my friends can then run in and kill him um, but, uh, yeah you can tell I don't even use those two guys that really bites I mean I haven't even played with these two guys <laughs> uh, I think I did and I died I like playing him and that's alien hominid I'm gonna pick him but you can tell I love Alien Harmony. I sure enough do. I'm not gonna play much. I'm not gonna play like a few, a few moments. Yeah. Ooh, I got shot. Keep you back. Um, yeah, you got little creatures and stuff that follow you to give you like little powers and stuff. You have to dig them up. Uh, my friends actually uh, went through all this stuff for me, and they're like, yeah, go over here and let's go find it. Use a shovel. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I have all the, mon the little monster assistants. But I haven't played this game in, like forever, so. This, game, this is a great little game that I really hope everybody play. I just can't believe it. Microsoft didn't even think to bring this over to the Xbox One. I just, but I'm glad they have. So if you have an Xbox One, uh, I'm not sure if it's on PS1, but I know it's on PS3. That's a good, yeah, PS4, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's on PS4, but I know it's on PS3. You know. Oh, oh, he leveled up. I'm level 46. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to power up. I'm trying to power up my uh, laser. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot I got that. Let's see. Do that. I'm trying to. Oh, but it's a fun game. I'm gonna stop here because I'm trying to get my laser to power up, but I forget how to do it. I'm gonna hold the button down. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to play it too long. Let me back out. You just want me to see it. But you play the game. Go get the game. And go ahead and uh, play it. Because it is really fun. Uh, it's a great, uh, what, four players online? I think you play four players local, if I'm not mistaken. I should have checked that, but I didn't think about it. But uh, but no, like I said, these are just games that I won't be playing, but... That was Alien Hominid Hit. I'm mean, sorry. I said Alien Hominid Hit. That was actually uh, Castle Crashers. Uh, there's uh, I don't. I can't remember what this game is about. Castle Miners. So I can't put my put a put a grade on it. Comic Jumper is actually a pretty fun game. It's like a, a living comic book, and uh, I forget the name the main name of the main guy, but he is really hilarious. And there's a part where you're riding a, a unicorn. Um, it's in black and white, but it's so funny. But that, that level is really hard. But it is so funny because they start singing. Um, you can go, just look it up. The unicorn level. I think that's what it's called. Unicorn level. Um, but you'll know it when you see it because it looks so different from all the other levels. Uh, Dash of Destruction was a fun free game. Uh, Destination Arcade. Uh, I really don't can't remember that. I think that's the arcade that Microsoft made. That was not what we expected, but people played anyway. Of course, you know Doom. Um, if you've never played it. Here it is on Xbox. I'm not sure if it's still on Xbox Live. I'm not sure. But 
that's the game I won't be playing. Uh, this is uh, Dead Rising 2, uh, Case Zero, the, the download-only version of uh, Dead Rising. Um, could I recommend it? If you're a Dead Rising person and you haven't paid, played it yet, you're not a Dead Rising <laughs> fan. Um, I'm not a Dead Rising fan, but I love the graphics of the game. I just don't like being limited with the time that they give me you know, to save my daughter. Um, my main man, Duke Nukem. Uh, as you can see, I only have three achievements. I don't like this game on consoles. I should have known better because I played on PS1 and I did not like it on PS1. Um, I just like it on PC. I love it on PC the most. I just love it on PC. That's all I can say. Fez, the game that caused a lot of issues because of the maker of it was so snot-nosed. The game is still a great game regardless of what people say. Uh, you can hate the, hate the dev, don't hate the game. But this game is so huge. Huge. I mean, huge. My friend Phil, when he showed me his, his progress, I just gave up. <laughs> I, like, I, I do not have that kind of time to invest into a game. That's why I haven't been playing that many RPGs. I haven't played an RPG since. Well, actually, I haven't played an RPG since Lunar on PSP. Um, when they released it on PSP back in, what, 2000, I think, 9-ish? Um, that was the last RPG, and it kind of upset me because they cut a lot of stuff out. Cause I, like, I played the Sega CD version. So There's also this Final Fight Double Impact. As you know, I talk a lot about Final Fight and Capcom. Um, this is a game that, if you love Double Dragon, if you like Gauntlet, if you like... What other game is that? Scott Pilgrim, because that's a newer game now. Uh, this is a great game. Um, you know, I'm Team Final Fight, Team Capcom. And um, this is a great game. Granted, in one of my reviews, I kind of kind of spit at this a little bit because um, I didn't know why I did not like it. And my friend at EA was like, Warren, you don't like it because the music is not what you're used to. You're used to Sega City. It's like, oh, that is true. I forgot. You know, so it was the music. But now that I know that it's not, you know, I should know better. But once you hear the Sega City music, you don't want to play any. You don't even want to play the arcade anymore because the music is just that good. You know, I do have a friend who I like the original. I don't like Sega City. Like, okay, cool, 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 cool. But uh, I like. I love Sega City. Is to me is the best version. Is the soundtrack is rocking on that, and I love it. Of course, you know what Galaga is. Oh, I'm sorry. Double Impact actually has Magic Sword. I think I beat that. I'm not sure. Um, back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean in the 80s and the early 90s. Um, Magic Sword was a great game. Me playing it now and alone without my little brother or niece or nephew playing with me, it feels so empty. Um, even though it's still fun, um, it just, it just, I don't know, it feels empty. I've never, I don't think I've ever played games alone that much except for fighting games, and my little brother would always come along. But, uh, there's also Galaga. Uh, and see, this is Game Room, and that's Destination Arcade. So I don't I, I can't really remember which one is which, so I'm not gonna start it up at all. Oh, and SNK in the house. Well, let me go back to Galaga. Galaga's a great space game. If you haven't played Ga Galaga, please be under thirteen. Be under thirteen. Because Galaga is like one of the treasures of shooting games. Shooters, I'm not gonna say the other word with up in it. Shoot 'em up, I'll say that. But uh, Galaga is one of the staple shoot 'em up games, um, along with Space Invaders, side by side. And uh, if you haven't played this game, you really do need to play it. Just to say, yeah, I played Galaga. You know, just to say it and try to shoot those two spaceships that are up in the back before they come down, get extra points. Um, and especially shoot it when it's about to hit you. You get even more points for that. Well, I don't know about that. I know on my phone. Yes, I used to play this on my phone back in 2004 on my Trio 600. I love playing that game. I got addicted to it, really. But okay, moving forward. Uh, the game room, like I said, I can't remember which one it is, but I skipped over um, Garou, Mark of the Wolves. That's SNK in the house. Uh, if you're not a fighting game person, this game means nothing to you. If you are a fighting game person, well, I just said, you already know, I don't have to say anything, but I will. This is a great sidestep to the Fatal Fury series and Samurai Shodown series. 
Um, I really want to say Real Bout, but I shouldn't say that because I've never played Real Bout. Only my little brother played it. But uh, this is a great game. It's, I mean, it's to me, it's really short, but for good reason. Because uh, you can do powers and stuff. Like, if you lose many times, it'll say, put one-fourth power and you can kill the person, like, with, what, two kicks, three kicks. But that's not easy. That is not easy. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not. But uh, it's a really fun game, and I don't go through all the characters because I don't learn their names. I know Tubby, he knows. But the only person I like on there is Tizok. I like Tizok. And there's a Capuan with a guy that looks like Kim Capuan um, in the game, too, but... They play similar, but they're not, you know, they're not the same character, but their uh, dress style looks very much the same. And then there's another guy in there that looks like a Capuan, but he's not Capuan, he's someone else. And his fight style is totally different and very shocking. Guardian Heroes, one of the best Sega Saturn games ever for multiplayer. Sadly, it came too late for me. Uh, it's a great game. I bought it to play it with a friend. We played, and it was fun for what it was. I don't think I even beat it. Um, but since I'm playing alone, and it's not just going to play alone. It's just that once I played Castle Crashers, I don't need a game like this. But this is a Sega Saturn game, so I can't say that. This came out way back in, in the, what, mid, early 90s. Um, I skipped it because we didn't have it um, at my stores. And uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've played it. it was, it's good, but for me, it's a little late. It's too late. But it's still a great game. I'm not going to down it just because I, like, I don't like playing it. It's still a great game. But that's the reason why I'm getting rid of these, um, this system. Um, Guardian Heroes. Oh, sorry, Guardian Heroes. Gunstar Heroes. This is a great game, too. Great game for online, local, two-player. It is just fun. It's like Contra, but so much easier. So if you play Contra, this game will be a breeze. And even on hardest mode, it's still easy. Um, me and a friend actually went and did it like, wow, the hardest mode feels like the easy mode. Like, yeah, I know, it's really weird, but let's go ahead. We had some problems with the one boss. We didn't die at all, really, but, you know, he was having problems. Like, just jump, jump, there you go, time it. Um, with the, the, the guy on the rails. But Gunstar Heroes is a fun two-player game. Um, I like it. Gunstar Heroes, it's good. It's a good game. Make me smile right now. Happy Wars, it's an online game. Uh, Go play Fat Princess on PS3 instead. Hexic, if you like Texas, uh, Tetris, great game. Great game. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I had Hexic too, but I removed it because I didn't. I transferred the licenses and it wouldn't let me do it. So I said, let me just remove it. Um, it let me do it, but I accidentally came out of the transfer. And if you come out, you have to wait three months in order to use it again. I'm like, uh-uh. I, I have to ship this out now. Um... But this is Hexic. It's a really fun puzzle game. Watch out if you start playing it. Keep an eye on your clock. Put an alarm on. My first time playing this game, I played for four hours. I had like 15, about 15 minutes to take a shower, put on my clothes, and get to work. How I did that, I don't remember how. I don't remember how. I know everybody looking at me like, well, what's wrong with you? I was like, I was playing the game for way too long. <laughs> but it's a fun game, though. It's fun. It is really fun. So just be careful. Uh, Johnny's uh, Platform Biscuit Run. I love This game is so, how can I say it? I want to say cute, but not just cute. It's just simple, straightforward. It's really fun. It's like Smurfs. It's like the cartoon Smurfs, basically. You got this guy made out of sticks, and he can jump around, and you figure out the puzzle. It's really fun. I really recommend this game to anybody, kids, adults, whoever. I should delete that one, you know, because I, I don't. That's the demo that I played for so long, and I'm like, uh, -uh I have to buy the game. So I'm just going to like, delete this in front of you guys. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what Kuchibi was, so I'm leaving it. Same thing in Lady Bird, but I know Lady Bird Galaxy was a great spaceship game. So Google it, look it up on YouTube. This is a great spaceship game. Uh, <laughs> uh, see. It's making me sign in. See, this is what I hate about Xbox Live. This right here. Um, okay, I thought the ones with the. So, really, I probably should just delete it. Let's see. Kuchibi? All right. So, that means now you can't even play the game offline at all. So, we can just go in and delete this and hope from somebody from Microsoft will see this. And Ladybird. 
Yeah, Makovo was a great game. It was a good game. Let's see, play trial. Nope, can't play offline. See, Microsoft hurting um, the people who play. That's the reason why I don't mind being offline. Cause I, I'm sorry. I like putting my cartridge in and playing. See, this is what's supposed to do. Why? Why is only this game? Let me uh, go in. Uh, but this is metal. Oh, what is, it? is it metal slug? Uh, it won't let me jump, so I can't jump. But I want SNK play more, bigger, badder, better. Neo metal Geo. Slug. Double X. Huh. So let's see. Ah. Uh, Do mission. I go to combat school. I didn't know they had that. Okay. Yeah, this is a demo of the game. Oh, that's why. This is a demo of the game, not the full version. That's why. Oh, animation. Stuff. Marco. Oh, stuff on MMX. I'm only playing this game a little bit because I didn't mean to. You know, I didn't. I was just doing it for sample to see if it works. Oh, and I like how you have to you actually have to You have to actually press the button. Whoop, I'm dead. I'm gonna always die. I can tap it, man. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this game is awesome. SMK. No lazy, never lazy. But uh, let's go ahead and leave this because I just want to see. But see, that one played. I I I don't have the full version of that game. I never got around to buying it. Um, I'm looking for Shock Troopers, which is on PS3, and uh, that's what I ended up getting because I wanted it for my Neo Geo. But there's no such thing as Shock Troopers for AES. It's only Envious, and you can only buy it on a conversion cartridge, which is like what 450. So I uh, like I, I can wait for that. I'll just play the PlayStation 3 version for now. All right, and that was a Metal Slug. And uh, I actually skipped over Load Runner. Don't know how I did that. Load Runner is a great puzzle game. Look it up. Look it up. There's so many different versions, and this is a really challenging version. I, I think I'm on like level seven. I never went back. I did go back, but the game is so hard. But it's fun. But I don't have time. <laughs> That's a bad thing. I just don't have time. That's why. Hey. Bro, you want an Xbox 360? I'm not going to sell it for five bucks when I can just give it to you. Uh, Marble Blast Ultra, if you ever played Marble Madness, this game is really fun. It is really, really fun. I love it. Um, of course, there's Marvel's Capcom 2 from Dreamcast. It doesn't play like Dreamcast. But if you're a beginner, it's awesome. You'll like it. Um, I'm skipping over Mass Effect because it has had the, that's not really... It, that's just DLC that I bought. Um, Metal Slug 3 and Metal Slug SX. You just saw XX and there's 3. I want part 1. I don't know why they won't release part 1. But uh, Metal Slug is a great game. It's not exact, It's not Contra and it's not Cyberlip and it's not... Cyberlip is a uh, SNK game. Uh, I'm trying to think of other shoot 'em up games that I play like that. But uh, it, it, the graphics are just awesome. And the reaction to some of the characters are really, really awesome. So if you haven't played Metal Slug, anything, play it. Uh, anyway, I saw that. Minecraft. You know who Minecraft is. It's great. It's on Xbox 360. Um, and it's also on Xbox One. So there's no excuse for you not to have played it. Fish Tank was actually made by Lighthouse Games. Uh, I met the developer, and I think he gave me a, I think he gave me a free code to this. I think. I, I mean, I'm not sure why he did that, but he was a, he's a very nice person. He's awesome. You know, he's also the one who did the fireplace thing that was so um, popular. Uh, stop by his webpage, Lighthouse Games. Um, you know, let me see. Do you have any details on that? Let's see. No, they don't. They don't. And why do they have trial? I don't have no trial. Let's see. Oh wow, I don't have that downloaded. That that's not nice. It's saying it's downloaded, but it's not playing. Make me make me go online. That's not good. All right, uh, we're gonna skip over that. Let me just. Well, I'm, uh, okay, I don't want. I don't want to. Um, let's 
shit. I don't want to go into that game. That's a demo. I should have known it worked. So all the trials work offline, even though I transferred some of these. Which ones? I don't know. My my brother, he don't care. Because he's not going to be playing these games anyway. At least that's what he says, which I know he's not. Uh, but he's going to be playing the disc-based version of the games. But let's see. What else is there? Omega 5. You already know I love this game. I love Omega 5. Please be on Xbox One. Please be on Xbox One. This game is so beautiful. I mean, I have another game now. My friends who import from Japan, uh, they have a game called, um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm trying to think of it right now because I, I already, uh, it's on, uh, the music is on uh, YouTube. And uh, let's see. It's called uh, Caledrius. That game, and no one told me about the game coming out. I mean, it's, it's, the game itself is so beautiful. Beautiful. And the music, wow. You, I mean, this is why I, when I tell people there's certain games I like and there's some games I love. And games that have both great, pretty graphics and good music or great music, I'm all up in it. I'm all up in it. And I was kind of mad no one told me this. And my friend who imports from Japan, he says, look what I'm, I'm going to get this game. I'm like, what is that? It, it started being in Japan for like, I don't know, like almost a year now. Almost, not quite a full year. But uh, I want to play that. And Omega 5 is right, right in that area. You know, pretty, awesome music. I love the voiceovers and everything. Um, but moving forward with that, there's Pac-Man CE. I never thought Pac-Man could get any better until I played Pac-Man CE. It's like, how can Pac-Man get any better? You go around chomp, 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 and how else can you make it interesting? Pac-Man CE showed me the power of what Namco, Namco could do. And when I saw it, I like, wow, I played that game for about, what, a good three hours? Just, just playing it like old school, but they have challenges. So, and I got some challenges that I couldn't believe. I can't believe I actually got. I must have been bored that day. <laughs> I must have really bored. I know one day I was really upset about something, and I just kept playing for some reason. Um, Cause you can't get pa you can't get mad at Pac Man. You can't get mad at Pac Man. So I played and I bust up some challenges, and I kind of surprised myself. But that's the way you release stress. That's the way I release stress. And that was a thank you very much, Pac Man CE. Thank you very much, Namco. Um, but then my friend Phil popped up again. Warren. You play CEDX. I say, P C E D X, what? Champion Edition? I like, yeah. I like, what? I was joking. Like, no, it's Champion Edition. I like, okay. I said, now, how can they make C E any better with DX? Well, you know, let's just jump straight to this one. This game blew my mind, and it's still blowing people's minds. That Bandai Namco, I always leave Bandai off because I'm so used to saying Namco um, in arcade. And uh, this game is just that music. I mean, listen at the music. It's not even, it's not digital. It's, it's techno. I mean, you can push it out to where it's digital. And uh, Highway. Highway is crazy. Yeah, it's locked. So I haven't even unlocked half the half the boards yet. But um, let's see highway. I don't go on highway. Cause highway is way too fast. Highway start going so fast. Woo! I only have wow. I only have a lot to go. Look at all the challenges. And Chubby has beaten all of them. He already beat them. Yeah. He when he's not working. He is putting his time in. And I'm not working now. It's either I'm eating or sleeping or working on another project. And uh, you can change the visuals. Look at that. Look at that. Type E, type F, type G. They don't look that much different, but when you're playing, it does. I don't think it's going to show us that. I like this because I can actually see the whole board. And it's like, that, that one is crazy. I wish they let you see it so you know what it looks like, but you can go on what you call it online and look it up. But uh you also got the characters. I'm not gonna switch the characters out. You can do that right there and you can see it, see how the characters look. 
like blocks. With the music. And I don't, I'm not gonna play that with the music on. That's not my favorite. My favorite music is actually uh That's my favorite music there, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my favorite music because it's so peaceful. I love this music. You know what? I'll just go ahead and start the game. I'm not going to play with maybe like three boards. I wasn't even trying to beat it. I was just playing it, but it's not normally that easy. I don't know why. Oh, okay. It was going for a personal best time, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Default settings. But we're going to stop because I didn't want to play this game, like I said, that much. But as you can see, this game is beautiful. The music is awesome. If you haven't played any of them, I mean, once you play one of them, you're going to play the other one, too, because the game is awesome. Namco, I don't understand how they didn't get an award for that. I mean... That's innovation right there, what they did. It's pure innovation. Just, just took the same game, same basic stuff, and just made it more beautiful and sounds so good, and it feels good while you play. I just don't play it a lot because I can sit and play all day, and you know I can do it. Um, but, okay, that's, that's Pac-Man CE and Pac-Man CE DX. Um, awesome games. Peggle, that's my baby. I don't know if you've seen me talk about, I, haven't, I don't know if i talked about this on my uh, channel or all. I mean, you've probably seen some, like, clear screens and stuff, but this right here was my baby. I loved it. Um, I loved it so much. I bought it on my iPod Touch. I bought it on my iPad. I bought it on PS3. And I bought the cartridge <laughs> on my DS. <laughs> At the time, which I gave to my friend at EA. I re actually, I don't even want to ask for it back. But I have it on iPad, so why should I? But, uh, yeah, this game right here, when you play it, if you've never played Peggle, or if you're trying to find a good gift for somebody who doesn't really play games that much, trust me, this is a game is for people who don't like playing games. I don't like playing video games. Video games are dumb. Let them play this game. Make sure you have your camera ready. So when they clear that first stage, watch the look on their face. Um, I let a friend at work play this game. I thought he played it, so I let him play it. And he just jumps up and starts screaming on the middle of, of the work floor. You know it was slow. We didn't have nobody on phones or anything like that. He just jumps up. Look, look. Like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I thought you played the game before. No, I cleared the stage. Like, okay. You know, and our friend was over. We're just giggling and laughing. We're like, I thought he played this game before. Because he's a DJ Max person, so it's kind of like, how can he have never played Peggle? You know, this game is like right up his alley. But uh, but yeah, but Peggle is a great game for people. Oh, and I don't ever mention this, and I just thought about that. If you have a kid that likes Bust the Move, you know, to Rob and Bob, who shoot the, uh, shoot the bubbles to the top of the screen, this is one of those games that, similar to that, is, I, w I would not say it's that fun, because it is more for teenagers to adults. But uh, if your kids don't mind, you know, flicking it, I think they learn how to play it. You know, they become more advanced, I would say that. But Peggle is a great little game. Play the demo, but once you start playing it, trust me, you're not going to stop. Um, Physics Sandbox is a game. <laughs> uh, you know Pinball Effects. Honestly, I don't remember even playing these. And this thing says I bought this game. And honestly, I don't remember buying it. I have achievements, but whatever. Um, well then there's po Poker Smash. I love this game. I, 
I got friends to buy it so we can play. I played with maybe one of the six people. Um, he wasn't mad, but he expressed that the game isn't what you thought it was, was it? I'm like, no, not really. But I still like it. I see you playing it. You know, but I only got four out of 12 achievements. <laughs> so I need to learn how to do the combos. Every time I get one set up, something happens. But yeah, uh, that's not an XBLA game. Puzzle Arcade, that's a game I would love to have. My I, I really wish I could get my money back on it. Um, because the puzzle pieces are so small. The four achievements that you have, that's you see there, I took, took my system over to my um, uh, friend that works at EA. And he, uh, well, he's a like you know achievement whore like they used to use. He loves achievements, and uh, this is before Microsoft started messing up stuff. And uh, so I just played a little bit with him, and he had his account logged in. I don't know if I didn't borrow this game before Microsoft messed up transferring games or not, but uh, the, the the puzzle pieces are so small. Sure, you can zoom in, but then it's like, what piece was I looking for? Zoom out. Oh, that one. Zoom in. Slide over. Okay, which piece again? Slide out, zoom in. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. Get my money back. I want my money back. My money back. It's a great. It has a. It's, it's a great idea, but it's like that thing needed more execution. It's a great idea though. It's a great idea. That's why I bought it. But to play, I mean. <laughs> All right, then there's Puzzle Bobble. As I was talking about that earlier, on other games. Puzzle Bobble is a great, you know, Robin Bob. And uh, basically, this one is still, this is more of the, uh, like, bust a, gro uh, bust a move. I almost said groove. I meant to say move, bust a move on SNK, and it's on 3DO. Uh, well, you get one of the, uh, I don't, I can't, I'm sorry, I don't know the name, the colors of the guy, because one's green, and the other one, I think, is blue. And this one is the green one. And basically, he walks across his map, A, B, C, D, to Z, and it's like, you know, the letters are all randomly put, and then you got da diamond steps. Uh, and it's a fun game. Once you start playing it, this is a great game. This game right here is for the kids. They'll love it. I have a associate in a group who played uh, Busta, Busta Move on this Neo Geo with his son. And he's like, my son is loving this, and he doesn't want to play anything else. I was like, of course not. This game is so fun. Once you start hearing that cheery music, you don't want to play nothing else. You don't even want to play Mario. You're just going to sit and play this game because it's so, so much fun, and you don't feel discouraged when you lose. You just start over and keep going. But, uh, but yeah, pu uh, Puzzle Bobble Live, it's an awesome game. I recommend it, uh, especially if you're a puzzle player. Play it. Play it. And now with Nintendo bringing out the, the mini old Nintendo, I'm going to call it that. I should call it Mini NES, but I'm going to call it the mini old Nintendo. Uh, they have uh, Bubble Bobble on it, and that's the only game I wanted. I was like, they got Bubble Bobble, then I'll get it. And sure enough, sure enough. I almost said Monster Party because you know how I love that game because my, uh, what's that thing called, the FC Twin, it messed up my copy of Ninja Gaiden. So now I can get that and I have not only Bubble Bobble to play, which I'm probably end up playing that more than anything, I now have my own, another copy of Ninja Gaiden. Even though it's not on cartridge, I am going to get a cartridge again one day, hopefully. Uh, but I can now play Ninja Gaiden. Yay. Four years. What, not what, four years? No. Six years, four years, six years. That's how long I've been waiting to play that game. I just want to put time aside. Um, puzzle Fighter HD. Uh, this is a great game. It's a great puzzle game. Um, even though you probably heard me say it's good for kids, uh, I'm going to say it's good for kids eight and higher. Because uh, uh, Tubby, like, this game isn't for kids. Um, it, you have to know the rules. You do need to know the rules. And I don't play this game the way it's supposed to be played. That's why the game is so hard for me. I play it like Columns, and this is not Columns. So, you know, he understands, and you should see a video on my channel uh, with him actually beating the, game, beating the game with one of the characters. And it's, like, awesome because I've never seen that before. Um, quiet, please. I'm, I'm not even going to talk about that. Res HD. If you've never played any Res on any console, on any PC, stop watching this video and go play five minutes of this game. If you can play five minutes. Res HD is a trippy, techno, crazy trip down a rabbit hole uh, game. I never even heard of the game until I, I played it here. And my friend's like, well, you never played it on, on Sega Saturn? I'm like, never even knew the game existed. And 
I like, wow, I'm blown away. I haven't beaten the game yet. Um, I've got, I get to level like, I think like three. I think basically I'm to the boss, the big giant wall that spits all the bu bullets out. I keep dying like at one hit. I kid you not. I am not good enough. Uh, there's Rocket Man, Axis of Evil. They put some work into that game. I did not like it one bit. This is a good game, though. It is a good game. It is a good game. I didn't like it because of the, 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 the um, what was it? The dialogue. The dialogue was just so awful. Versus Comic, Comic Jumper. Comic Jumper was funny. That was hilarious. But versus Rocket Man, Axis of Evil, no. It, Rocket Man, to me, it could not compare to Comic Book Jumper or Comic Jumper. Uh, but I will say Rocket Man, uh, if you're a sci-fi fan, you, you, I mean, I'm a sci-fi fan, so, you know, I love my Stargate, Star Trek, uh, well, Stargate SG-1, let's be clear, Stargate SG-1, uh, uh, Star Trek Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager, I love my, my, uh, sci-fi, um, TV shows, but this, I just could not get into, even though I tried, I bought, I think I even bought it, even though it says it's not purchased, I did buy it, but I don't care, uh, of course, another SNK game, that is going to be, Sunrise Showdown 2. Um, I had part, well, no, I have part one on Neo Geo and on my Super Nintendo. Awesome game, part one. Part two, it's still fun. You have a, oh my gosh, uh, I, I think I'm saying her name wrong. Tam, Cham Cham, that's it. Cham Cham with C H C H, not Tam Tam. Tam Tam, Tam, -tam is a, the guy that was from, the, you know, he's not an Indian, but he's like in, uh, Mayan or whatever. And I shouldn't say whatever, but I used to be in love with everybody. And I used to know their classes, but I can't remember. But he's like, oh, 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 that's uh, Tam Tam. And he spits fire. I love Tam Tam. Um, but Cham Cham is in uh, Samurai Showdown uh, 2, and she has that boomerang. And she scratches you in your face, kind of like, uh, uh, what's his name? Saber Wolf from Killer Instinct. And, you know, it's a fun game. It's still fun. It's still fun. It's a little, if you're a true SNK fan, you will notice there's some issues. I mean, this is emulation, so it can't be exactly 1%. But it's still fun. It's still fun. Of course, Scott Pilgrim, like Double Dragon. If you haven't played part Scott Pilgrim and you've beaten Double Dragon, you've beaten Final Fight, you've beaten all the Streets of Rages, come play Scott Pilgrim. I mean, it was all over the news before, you know. It's a great game. I never beat it. <laughs> uh, sea Life Safari, this is a kid's game that, of course, you know, I love kid's games because I like to relax sometimes, you know. I'm tired of Mortal Kombat. I'm tired of the Killer Instinct. Well, I'm never tired of Killer Instinct except for the new one they brought out. But this is way back in, uh, they, they don't even show you the game details. They certainly don't. They certainly, well. Nope, they don't. I can look at the achievements and pull up, probably pull up some stuff. But uh, Sea Life Safari was a relaxing, on the rails, like underwater game. And you basically take pictures. Think uh, I See You Pikachu on N64. It's kind of like that, but I like this because it's underwater and you get to see the fishies. So I really enjoyed it. Um, of course, uh, this. Wait, oh, I must have burned to the hard drive. I don't know. That's Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. Oh, no, 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 that's actually a full game. Wow, I got half the achievements on that crappy game. I'm going to say crappy. I'm going to say crappy. I'm allowed to say that because I have it on Dreamcast, and this game right here is nothing like the Dreamcast version. People will say, oh, Warren, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. If I'm beating Hailstorm with, uh, with anybody, and it's only on Xbox 360 or PS3, something wrong. I'm like, I was happy. But I know what he does. And he was like, yeah, Warren, they're doing, they did something. They did something to Elena. And I'm like, I know. I mean, it was just, there is no way I could beat him, his Elena. Don't get me wrong, I do get lucky maybe once out of like, what, 12 times maybe? But not like I was doing. I said, there's something wrong. Went back and played Dreamcast version, he whooped my butt. So obviously there's something wrong. Don't tell me there's nothing wrong with this game. So I quit playing it. Because, I, I mean, my moves weren't coming out right and stuff and I was like I'm not complaining or anything I'm just saying I'm just saying if you never played the game before play it if you are old school if I say OG and you haven't played it yet and you played on Dreamcast don't touch this game don't touch it don't touch it because I'm gonna tell you right now if you touch it be prepared to be shocked and let down and please don't backhand nobody please don't don't this game is an insult to me. Uh, Shadow Complex, awesome game. I have two achievements. Awesome game. I got stuck. 
and I didn't feel like looking up the answer on the internet. I've been back. <laughs> Cliffy B. Yeah, Cliff. I'm a, but then, I can't say your last name, so I don't want to butcher it. So I call him Cliffy B, even though he does not like that name. But Cliff, love you, man. Awesome. Jazz Jack Rabbit. Yeah, that's me. I keep on asking. Jazz Jack Rabbit. I know you're not with Epic, but Jazz Jack Rabbit. I want that game to come to a console, and Xbox One would be awesome right before Crackdown 3. But uh, Shadow Complex is a great little adventure side-scrolling game, and it, is, it has some really nice graphics, and it, it's a really great game. It's a really good game. A lot of puzzle solving, and trust me, when you try, when you, it's not quite flashback, but it has the feel of it, and uh, there are some scenes that actually kind of feel like flashback when it goes down through the uh, crevices and stuff. It's like, oh, that's kind of like flashback, but it's a little bit easier to play. But uh, I recommend playing this game if you like a game that challenges you. It was too much for me. I got so far to where it's like, I mean, I had people, Warren, you still haven't beaten that game yet? Like, nope. Because I'm stuck. And I didn't feel like looking up the answer online because that's cheating. And, you know, the feeling of solving it yourself is so rewarding. Small Arms, that is for you guys out there who love that uh, Mario Brothers Smash. Um, it's a fun game for what it is. I'm not into those kind of games. Um, I bought this out of curiosity because the rat, the big giant rabbit with the big head with the metal on his face, I bought it because of him. Um, do I want a refund for it? No, no. It was fun. It still is fun. Um, I wish I had more people play online. Oh, man, it's a riot. I mean, even if you're not playing online, it's still fun. But uh, I love the game. I just don't play it like I should. Uh, Smash TV, of course, you know, I love this game. Um, I don't know if it's still on Xbox Live or not because of uh, that little issue in the lawsuit. I have it on I have Super Smash TV on Super Nintendo. I know I shouldn't rub it in your face, but I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but, uh, but Smash TV, if you've never played it before, get your friend and get ready to play. Um, most people do will say they love Robotron. Uh, I forget, there's like numbers, Robotron 2057 or something like that. Um, that number is not legit. I'm just making it up. I'm just letting you know. It's a, I always call it Robotron. Um, you use two controllers, one to walk and navigate, the other one to shoot, whatever direction you point at. And uh, Smash TV is a great, violent game. I'd buy that for a dollar. You know, now it's stolen from Robocop. <laughs> Ed Boon. Um, of course, you all got, you all, get, all you guys know Sonic, but if this is being watched in like, what, 2050? Sonic was a rival to Super Mario, uh, running really fast at turbo speeds. And, uh, you know, those red shoes. You might be wearing some right now, as far as we know. <laughs> they finally brought his red shoes out with the stripes, not the stupid little Sonic on a Nike. That's not a Sonic shoe. Sonic is white, white, black, I mean, sorry, red with a white stripe. I mean, why they haven't done that yet, I don't know. But yeah, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog Part 1 and then Part 2. My favorite, which is Part 1, I love Part 1. It's always going to be the classic. I always love it. But music wise, it's going to be Sega CD version which I didn't buy it on here because I actually have it on Sega CD. Um, but uh, I love some Sonic. If you're in 2050 right now and you don't even know what Sonic the Hedgehog is, I hope that we have peace. I will say that. I hope Dr. Robotnik hasn't come and turned all the nice people and nice animals into robots. But uh, if you haven't played Sonic the Hedgehog 2 or 1 or 3, play Part 1. That's the best one for me. And then if you can get it on Sega CD, play it on Sega CD because Sega CD is the best version for me because it has the best music. You got multiple levels in one level. It's awesome. Explosion Man. Side-scrolling. and I, Oh, let me finish off on Sonic. Sonic is a uh, platformer. Yeah, it's a great platformer. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, Explosion Man is also a platformer. And he, basically his powers are explosions and he jumps... And, you know, with the explosions, he can bounce, like, I think, like, three times. Because when you go boom, you can go boom, boom, and go again. And you don't get that height, and then you fall. But uh, Explosion Man is a great game. Um, I never finished it. As you see, I only have five achievements. I wasn't really playing this game for achievements. I was playing it because it was fun. And we were playing, I was playing against a friend. And I, I don't think he even beat it yet. Because uh, we moved on to Miss Explosion. I did not buy that game. I said, no, no, no. I want to finish this one first. So I never came back. Um, the game that I got my Xbox One for Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting um, I'm not even sure if it's on XBLA the store anymore or not but 
This is the old school 2D rasterized graphics. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. I have the Turbo on Super Nintendo. Uh, this game really can't hold up to it. But for being online, back when I first heard about it, it was awesome. I could not believe they finally got Street Fighter online without X-Band on Nintendo. I, I thought they were going to bring an X-Band for the uh, Super Nintendo, but they never did. Now, well, they probably did. I just don't know. Um, I never looked it up. Uh, Street Race uh, New York City is a hoverboard game. It's really great. Um, I mean, it's multiplayer too online. Um, I can't really explain it, but there's a game that's out now. Something to it with a rollerball. And basically you slide around the, 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 the rink, if I can call it that, or the arena. And it's pretty fun. You know, it's an indie game. It was fun. Oh, and the other game I saw earlier with the graphics, Streets of Fury. That is a great little game. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. But so if you love Double Dragon, if you like Streets of Rage, if you like Final Fight, uh, what other games are there? Um, I'm just thinking about beat em up games and I can't think of Rival Turf, one of my favorites that I hardly ever mention. I love, the music on Rival Turf just turns me on. I don't know why. When they got the, it's almost like the Double Dragon when you fight an Abba Bow and they go, nah, nah, nah. I'm sorry, not Abba Bow, but those guys with the purple hair and they go, nah, 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 nah. you have to play it on um, Super Nintendo because on Sega Genesis, when it's like Sega Master System, it doesn't have that noise. But, uh, but yeah, Streets of Rage was done by an indie group, and they did a great job on the graphics and the animation. Granted, the gameplay is a bit cheesy. It is fun. It is fun. I love it. And the music is pretty decent. And as I was saying earlier, you know, they paid a homage to TLC uh, Left Eye, so that's really awesome. So that made me like, like it even more because they could do homage in their stuff. Uh, we're going to skip over Street Fighter, Street Fighter. Uh, there goes that Street Fighter... Uh, Super Street Fighter 2 uh, HD. Um, actually, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD. I'm sorry. I have it on 3DO. I didn't care for this game too much. I played it. Yes, I did. Played with my friends. We enjoyed it. When they released it, this game was so buggy. You had it where when you're going to matches, the uh, power meters wouldn't reset. So where they left off at, that's where it picked up off. But it didn't count because they were frozen. So we're just fighting. Well, who's about to die? I don't know. Keep kicking. <laughs> it's funny. I had to hide that video because somebody posted it at, uh, I think, either SureYouCan.com or Capcom Unity. And uh, people were coming to it. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to be like that. It was just funny. And they posted it. You know, how would you let that get through? But, uh, yeah. But, uh. Moving forward on that, I'm sorry, I'm th thinking. Tetris Splash is all Tetris. -es. This is a fun Tetris. Uh, I don't care for it. Um, I got my favorite Tetris in my pocket now on my 3DS, the Game Boy version. They've pulled it from the market. Why? I don't know. But I have my copy. So Tetris Splash did not make it. It splashed out. The Dishwasher Dead Samurai. If you have not played this game, if you have not played this game, if you have not played this game and it is still up, what are you waiting on for? I remember when I bought I bought this game on uh, when I first saw it. I bought it because I knew it was gonna be a great game, more great than I can ever imagine. And uh, it's on uh, my it's on my channel uh, where I do the solo. I don't you know everybody just comes flying to see the solo. Um, I loved it when people left comments on that video. I mean I didn't I mean I was kind of confused. I'm like why is everybody liking com you know putting comments and liking this video? It's crazy and then oh that solo is awesome I'm like i was just messing around before work you know i had like what 45 minutes before work started and uh i'm like well what the heck i done downloaded it so let's play and uh got to that solo and you know and it's played like rock band kind of so that made it even more easier for me to play but also fun it's pretty neat it's pretty neat the impossible game of course you should know that little block that bounces tap it and it jumps so it was a, uh, you know, fun little game. I have it on iPhone. I don't play it. <laughs> it's fun, though. I like the music. My favorite game by Twisted Pixel. My favorite game. The Maw. Maw. Um, this game is on my channel. At least it should be. I know I've streamed it more than I should have, but I love this game. It's so relaxing. The Maw is about this alien that crash lands 
um, on the planet because of the people who are trying to capture him and take him back somewhere. And uh, basically he has to find a way to get home by eating these things. And it gets really big. I don't want to ruin it, but I'll stop at that. But it's a fun game. It's really fun. Uh, Team Intros, 1989 Arcade. Of course, this game is fun. It's really fun. Um, it's like, uh-oh, give me a moment. Uh, it's a really fun game. It's one player. And uh, it, it's just, I'm sorry, this Team Intros, 1989. It's, uh, it's four players online, four players local, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, if you played this game back in the 80s, you should know what it's all about. Actually, early, I think it was early 90s, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's really fun. Um, I will say I love Tur Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo better. But uh, this is a fun game, no matter what. It's still got Mode 7 in it, if you want to call it that, where they flick them toward, flick the ninjas toward, the, you can, uh, flick them toward the uh, screen. Uh, I enjoy doing that. And it's fun. And, you know, some people are forgetting some of the stuff when you say, Big Apple. But I said, it's 3 a.m., where are we? And they're like, what? I'm like, oh, God. Big Apple. Oh, okay. You know, but I didn't want to say 3 8, you know, Big Apple, because if I say it, they know the answer. But, yeah, when someone says, Big Apple, they always say, 3 a.m., and, they, you know, because they know exactly what you're talking about. But that's on Super Nintendo, and this is a little different, but it's still fun. Uh, Twin Blades. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Twin Blades, that's an uh, indie game, too. It's fun. I didn't buy it, though, because time has passed so fast. But it's a fun game. And the, uh, uh, what's her name? The Hero, or whichever she is. Well, she's a she. <laughs> Um, and the Twin Blades, I think that's, wait, I shouldn't say that. Twin Blades, I want to make sure, I, you know, let me retract that. Because I haven't played Twin Blades in, like, forever. I don't think I'll be able to play this game. Nope. No, I don't think it's a girl. I, I, I haven't played this game in, like, forever. I, but I know it's a great game. Of course, everybody knows Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Finish him. Get over here. Excellent. Um, you know, Shang Tsung before he got all messed up. But uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, of course, you see I got all achievements. Mess with people online who got beat me up, and I learned from them and beat them up. Then there's Undertow. It's a great little game. Uh, it will test your patience because you're using you're swimming. So, you know, you don't want to uh, just play the game and then uh, want to turn it off because you'll lose all your progress. But I only have two more achievements to go, so I'm good. Of course, Uno. That's a great little game to play online at night with friends, sit and talk. And when I say, you know, sit and talk, you know, it's just it's a good conversation game. Very good. Uh, so what else is there? Uh, Wits and Wagers. This is educational. If you like teaching your kids history and stuff, I recommend this game, but for adults, no. At least I'm saying for me, I, I didn't like it at all. So, you know, um, it's educational though. It's just that the, the interface is like boring as off. Get out. Word puzzle. Great idea on paper. Terrible idea out in the open. I played it for one day, couldn't find nobody to connect with. So, you know. I, I really wouldn't even know what to, to say to this game, Word Puzzle. They released it, and nobody was playing it. I bumped into one person, and they were from another country that spoke a whole different language and spelled words totally different than we do. So that's the game I would love to have a refund for because I can't use it. I can't even play by myself. They're like, what? But all right. I almost made it under an hour. Almost. Almost. <laughs> well, we got uh, way. What is that called? Uh, Commando Three. It's something. Wolf of the Battlefield. That's it. Capcom. Capcom did a pretty good job. It's not great. It is not great. Is it hard? Oh yes. Oh yes. Some people say, Oh no, it's not. Prove it then. But uh, I enjoyed this game almost every step. You know, once it says, you can, you can go kill them and they'll have, like, prizes for you, like um, Metal Slug. And I'm like, what? So, uh, but uh, the, uh, 
the, uh, the playing the game was like a little hard to uh, get used to because you know you use one analog one analog for one thing and analog another analog for the other thing. It's not quite Smash TV, but then at the same time it is. But uh, it's a really fun game. I recommend it for everyone, really, because uh, it, it's it's fun. It's fun. You're just walking through. Um, again, it's not Cyberlip. It's not. I'm trying to think of some other game that they end up <laughs> locking them. Uh, locking themselves up in the game itself because uh there's some parts in here where you can actually get locked up by the boss um there's one boss on the, on the left hand side of the screen if you get too close you can't move so you better hope you can die which is what happened to me but uh the game itself is fun um i enjoyed it uh, if you haven't played it i always say play it all right here comes one more before the end uh x-men x-men you know so uh this is the arcade game perfect and uh i i don't know what to say i have seven out of twelve achievements but uh but no x-men arcade oh we've been waiting so long for this to finally come home on a saturday morning this is our parents leave but uh but it's a great game i'm gonna say that i'm a great game there was some issue with it where people, people can like Look down at your game and see what you're doing. So, you know, they'll jump in and most people will, uh, what do they do? Oh my gosh, I can't think right now. They pick uh, Colossus. And every now and then they get Cyclops, thinking that Cyclops is Colossus. Like, why would you do that? So, it's really odd. But uh, X-Men Arcade, like I said, was, was trying to say earlier, this is a game we always wanted back in the day to come home with that double screen with all all the players playable. I think there's six of them. Um, I was Storm and Nightcrawler. Every once in a while, Wolverine. But, uh, but yeah, we finally got it. Yay. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound bad, but I'm trying to say it and keep moving on because I can sit and tell my X-Men. Give me a, I'm going to get a sample of the X-Men real quick. Konomi in the house. There's the Marvel flip flip. All right, there we go. All right, these title screens, woo! Okay. All right, press start. Uh huh. I see Kevin. Wait, why is it? Oh, okay, it's full pleasure. Okay. All right. In the 21st century, huh. I should be spread out for those who have no idea of the to destroy the world. Humans could do nothing against the power. We're gonna do the first intro. The only hope is X Men. Uh, I'm dying. X Men, X Men. Go and save the city. Uh, 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 uh. All right, there you go, Storm. Get it. Yeah, we love how you can hit on the ground. We find it out. Uh oh, let me show you the power. Whoops! Wow, I walked through them and they. Oh, I'm just Wow. Oh, I 
I like the music. Wow. It's rotten. Oh, I'm dead. Out the way. Oh, I'm trying to start the way, but I keep getting cornered. Oh, come on. I hate using that. Oh. Uh. Okay. I just want to get to the first, the first boss, and then uh. Well, uh, we find clips. Oops. Storm. See, I can't switch either. Oops, I'm wasting. Oh. What you draw? Show a little punch. It's Storm. But now you see all the games that I will not be playing. Uh, some of the games did transfer to a flash X -Men, drive. X -Men. We have but, uh, been we're going to have to stop right here. However and uh, call this showcasing. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will go and try these games out. Try them with the trials if you can. But alright, thank you guys very much for watching. And you have a good day.